It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Goodfellas creamy carbonara. There seems to be a lot of carbonaras hitting the supermarket shelves as of 2024. Whether there's a giant carbonara making factory somewhere in the UK, probably the case. They just distribute it about ZZ Goodfellas. We've had Tesco finest carbonara that was kind of a bit poor to be honest but yeah there's a lot of different companies now making these frozen carbonaras some have been really good the ZZ one was fantastic but it was £3.75 that had chorizo in it this also has chorizo in it but it was £2.99 you can put it in a microwave for nine minutes if you want to Uh, nine minutes on a 700 watt microwave or a gas max six which I'm going to do for 30 minutes now it, if you've got an electric oven it's 200 degrees fan assisted oven is 180 degrees it's 400 grams let's uh, let's have a look at it pick this up in Morrison's there it is there's probably a case of prick in the lid that sort of thing Pierce the film lid several times, goes in the oven for 20 minutes, peel back the lid after 20 minutes, give it a stir, put it back in for another 10 minutes. So let's go away now, cook this up, and I'll be back when it's cooked. Right, this carbonara is ready from Goodfellas. Let's have a look at it. Here we go then. Steaming away, looks pretty good. Go look at that. Right, we're ready. Went out last night, played some snooker, won two frames, lost two frames, drunk about four and a half pints, woke up with a monster hangover. What's that all about? So I'm slightly, slightly, slightly hungover reviewing this, but I'm hoping it's going to kind of sort me out. So. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Look, it's absolute. Look at the, this. Now, this looks like it's got some cheddar in. Look at the stringy cheese going on here. Now, that, that is different. We have reviewed, as I mentioned just now, we have reviewed Tesco's finest carbonara, which wasn't very good. The ZZ carbonara, which was excellent. But this looks better again. This has some dripping, normal looking cheese in it with some nice lumps of carbonara with some spaghetti. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hmm. First taste, garlic. The first, first flavor to enter my mind was garlic. It's a little bit thinner than the ZZ Carbonara. It's, what, what I mean by thinner, slightly, slightly kind of, it's not as sticky. The ZZ Carbonara was really sticky. This is more, I don't want to use the word watery, but slightly thinner. It's pretty tasty though. I quite like that flavour of the garlic coming through. It's quite an interesting flavour. 
I'm a big fan of garlic anyway, so it's it's, it's sort of like your your garlic bread taste to the garlic to the to the carbonara. All right, here is the chorizo. Oh. So that started off a little pork-like, a little bit porky, if that makes any sense. And then, And then he kind of ramped up in, in a kind of a chilli, chilli spice flavour that comes through, which is really interesting. Um, we reviewed the ZZ just a couple of days ago. That was more real chunks, real big pieces of chorizo. Whereas this Goodfellas one, it's a little bit more pork sausage, even in the consistency. And there's a real bite of spice that comes through. Again, and this is what makes it interesting. Yes, all of a sudden we seem to have an influx of carbonara makers. But the difference is, and what I like about it is that they're all different. The Tesco one wasn't very good. The ZZ one, fantastic. This. Mm. I think if they didn't have the ZZ one, because I, I picked them both up in Morrison's, I think that I would, you know, go, okay, they haven't got the ZZ, I'll buy the, the good fellas. So it's, it, it's definitely, yes, I'd pick this up again. Let's talk about the cheese sauce. It's, it's a little thin. It's a little thin. I'm going to use the word watery because I can't find anything else to kind of describe it better. It's a little bit watery. It's a little bit thin. Are there any kind of nasties in the ingredients then? Um, cooked spaghetti, water, wheat, semolina, cheese blend, 8%, mature cheddar, mozzarella, half fat cream, chorizo, 5%. And there's no E numbers. There's no E numbers. There's no rubbish. So what's interesting is they have some mature cheddar in here. And you can see that. Well, you could earlier on. You could see that in the, in the kind of stickiness of it. Hmm. So, I am going to rate it then. For the, for the £2.99 supermarket frozen carbonara, it's alright. As always, it kind of... Depends on this, depends on this, then it's some money. If you're a little strapped for cash, you're always going to look for things that you can pick up that might be a little bit cheaper. You might be standing in the freezer or going, I don't know, does this jump out at me? Do I want a frozen pizza instead? I think for £2.99, you could get a bowl of chips on the go with that. Get some, dip some chips in the cheese. Yeah, you could definitely make a meal of it. Add some other things to it. Yeah, I'll definitely be buying it again. If they didn't have the ZZ one. The ZZ one's better. So rating for this, it's a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for Goodfellas Creamy Carbonara with slightly spicy chorizo. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.